Ken looking locally, Jesslyn. We had a little, little bit of a downpour over Cape Coral at the moment. You can we? see in Kennedy's live <laughs> shot a lot of rain over there. Yeah, certainly getting a soaking in Cape Coral right now. A couple little popcorn showers, we're calling them across the area, but the heaviest I'm seeing right now is in Cape Coral. But a lot of the area, we're looking good right now. Currently, you can see into Babcock Ranch, all of that blue sky. What a pretty shot, right? I've been seeing people taking their walks outside, but then you take a look into Cape Coral from downtown Fort Myers. You can hardly even see. Look at all that just gray cloud of all of that rainfall that's coming down. Certainly a pocket of heavy rainfall out there, but just a couple little isolated showers elsewhere. Let's take a closer look at that shower right now. Actually, lots of lightning associated with that. Certainly a dangerous situation if you're going to be driving. I would recommend just staying put for a little bit because yeah, this is coming down, not moving all too much. Could be seeing some ponding out there on the roadways, pretty much from Northwest 16th Terrace all the way down into Cape Coral Parkway. We're seeing some of that heavy downpour. Also lots of lightning associated with that. So like I mentioned, just stay put for a little bit. This is going to be sitting over you guys for a little bit, eventually going to be pushing off towards the inland communities. That's where we have our best chance later on of the heaviest of rainfall. Also tracking a few little showers, Golden Gate also into Golden Gate Estates, but really Cape Coral is where we're really watching right now on the radar with those that with that heavy pocket that's sitting over there right now. Everybody though, we are feeling the heat. That shower cooling off North Fort Myers right now, still feeling like the upper 90s, but you can also see into Cape Coral feeling like the low 90s now with some of that rainfall. So a few cooling sh showers out there currently, but not everybody's gonna be seeing the rain as we head into the afternoon. Very spotty over the next couple of hours. Our sea breeze gonna start to push inland. West Coast Sea Breeze is going to be meeting up with the East Coast Sea Breeze right around Lake Okeechobee later on. So like I was talking about, that's going to be our best chance for the heaviest of rainfall later on. I do think a few could start to creep back off towards the west with that outflow boundary, but for the most part, it's looking like LaBelle, Clewiston. That's where we're going to be seeing the rainfall today. But I know a lot of us starting to see those posts on social media, something getting going in the Gulf as we head into the weekend, and it does look like something could be out there. There's still some question mark on what could be out there. The intensity, the track of what could be happening. Models are still all over the place, but it does have a medium chance of forming over the next seven days. But I want to take you a little bit closer. This is a future cast. This is the GFS or American model that we typically use when we are tracking different tropical systems. Take a look as we head into Sunday. Nothing's really defined. Nothing's really coming together on a central low pressure area. But even if if nothing's really going to be forming out there, taking a name, still going to be putting a lot of moisture here on our side of the state. It's just going to be kind of meandering over a few days into the weekend, into the early part of next week. Same with the European model, showing something trying to get together, but really nothing tightening up out there. But still look at all of that rain that's going to be pushing towards us. So what do I want you to know as we go forward? there's still a question mark. What's gonna happen? What kind of impacts we could be seeing? But certainly could be seeing that heavy rainfall. Again, models still kind of going all over the place with that as well. But I do think over the next seven days, we could be seeing anywhere from four, locally seven inches in rainfall. But mainly that's gonna be towards the coast. Uh, we're not gonna be seeing as much rainfall as you head further inland, but certainly a few of those heavier pockets could be coming down as we head towards really the beginning of next week. You can see that here on our seven day forecast over the next day or two, just our typical rainy season pattern, gonna be dodging a few of those heavier downpours like we're seeing right now into Cape Coral, but that's when we're gonna start to bump up the rain chance this weekend into the beginning of next week. We'll be keeping you updated. And of course, we'll be really letting you know if anything does start to form out there this weekend, but as of right now, really just looking like our main impact gonna be some heavy rainfall. All right, Jessalyn.